Hi, welcome. I'm Stacy from Fit with Stacy, and I'm a water fitness instructor, and I also specialize in senior fitness. And today, I thought it was fitting that I show you a little bit about my uh, my aqua fitness class and show you some moves, and maybe you can exercise along with me today. Okay, so first thing to remember about the water is it's great for the body. Just being in here, you're already working out. So anybody with limited mobility or anybody who has maybe some joint stiffness, aches and pains, they would seriously benefit from being in the water. Uh, even if you don't have those issues, you can still have a great time, get a super duper workout, and it's not just for the seniors. Water fitness is for all age levels, beginners through advanced. Anybody can do water fitness. So why don't you join me today? Go get your water swimsuit on, come on to your pool, and join me for some great moves and a great time. Okay, once you have your items, let's get started. First thing they remember is you always warm up when you get into the pool because water might be cool and you want to work out when you have nice warm muscles. First thing you want to do is let's just start doing some walking or maybe a light jog. So here we go, let's just jog it. And I'm just bringing those hands forward and back as if I was punching the water. So just forward and back and punch that water. And now I'm just bounding off the bottom of the pool. And as I'm bounding off the bottom of the pool, one thing to remember is you want to keep those heels down. Do not stay on those tippy toes the entire time you're in the pool. That will not be fun later on. So back and forth, just from foot to foot, coming off the bottom. Slowly body temperature is going to come up and slowly those muscles are going to warm up. So once you feel a little bit warmer, you're going to get a little bit faster. Just a little bit faster here. Now if you have arthritis, aches and pains, you're going to want to get into a warmer water, definitely, and you're going to want to do a longer warm-up so those muscles will be nice and loose by the time you work out. So here we go. I'm feeling a little bit warmer at this point. So what I'm going to do is just take those knees and I'm going to go out, out, in, in. So I'm making a wide and a narrow jog, and wide and a narrow jog. So take those legs wide, bring them narrow, wide and narrow. Now, my heart rate, I feel it coming up a bit. Do you feel yours coming up too? Wide and narrow. So bring those wide legs out, bring those legs back in. Bringing those legs out and in is warming up those inner outer thighs, warming up the back side too. You gotta warm up every body part. You can't just do the legs. We gotta do a little bit of everything. So taking it out, out, in, in, out, out. Can you bring those knees a little higher with the out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Awesome guys, you're doing great. All right, how you feeling? Now, let's take a little break right here. Plant those feet and just circle the, wrist, the hips around. Take them around in a nice big rotation. Around and around with those hips. Circles. You can keep those hands on the hips too. You don't want to bring them out of the water too often. And actually, in all actually, you'll have to keep those shoulders down into the water as much as possible. Working out when you're at your belly button level is not going to do the best for you. You want to keep those shoulders in, keep the arms in, keep the body parts down in the water. The more the body parts are in the water, the more you have protection with that water there for those joints. All right, you're bringing those hips around the other way. I hear our music getting a little bit more with that intensity, so I think we're going to be bringing it up here in just a minute. Now take those wrists, just some circles of the wrists, warm them up. Big circles, march those feet, a little bit of a run here. Take those wrists the other direction. Open those hands and close them, open and close. Warm up those fingers. We will be using tools later, so got to warm up those fingers. Now take that body and stop it here. Let's go ahead and just side bend overhead and bring it back down. Side bend overhead, and you're going to splash yourself with that one. Do the other side, overhead and back down, overhead and back down. Now let's rotate sideways. Rotate, push the water, bring it in, do it one more time. Push it across and back in, other way, across, push that water. 
Let's do that two more times. Now this is warming up those oblique side muscles. Try to make sure you're pivoting the foot on the bottom. All right, let's go back to our jogging. Now I feel like we're pretty warm at this point. I'm in Arizona, so it's nice and warm already. So let's get that jog going. Jog, 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 and punch now. We're going a little harder. Since right now, my body's warm. I can feel warm right here. So I'm gonna just punch away as I jog and I'm bringing those knees up even higher. Punch, punch, jog, jog. Punch, punch, jog, jog. Are you feeling it too? Nice and warm, feeling great. If you're in cooler water, you should probably be feeling it by this time too. Now take those hands to the side and punch them down. We're working up the sides of the body again. Get some flexion to the side. We'll be doing some strength training in a little bit. And when we do, you're gonna want to have those muscles warm. So why water aerobics? Increasing your core stability. Again, that's one really important factor. Core is like the whole integrity of your body. That's from here down to your, like your middle of your thigh. That area is all that's called core. And that holds you up nice and tall, protects a lot of those body organs, protects your spine. All right, why else? Well, get better balance, that's a great thing. Now take the water and just grab it as you're pulling forward as you're jogging. Better balance, who doesn't want better balance? We all could use a little better balance in our lives, right? Woo! Getting splashed. That's the fun of aqua fit. Yeah, yeah. Wet, splash, but you have fun. Who cares what terror looks like? Not me. <laughs> Look at mine. <laughs> all right, now keep this feet moving. Cardio portion, keep yourself moving of some sort. Here it's a slow job. Now at this point, we're going to change to Jack and Jill's. So Jack's or Jill's, wherever you are, there's your goal. All right, so start with everything open, nice and wide. Hands are out to side, feet are open. And you're gonna bring the, everything in, close it up, and everything open. Close and open. So jumping jacks or jumping drills here. Now open and close. Open and close. As you open and close, you're gonna feel yourself rise a little bit. Pushing down with that nice force of water. So. How's that feeling? Pretty good. You can't always move forward and back in life. We move forward and back quite a bit. We don't move sideways very often. But you need those movements. Think about that movie theater. And when you pass through the aisle in the movie theater, sideways, sideways, right? So we have to get those muscles worked too. All right, how's those jumping jacks and jills going? Feeling good? Woo, so open and close. Open and close. Get those heels down. Heels down. I'll show you some variations in another video on how to do jumping jacks and drills. There's so many ways to change this up. But today I want to keep it basic because this is your first time with me. And I want you to get used to my terminology and the way I do things here. All right, a couple more seconds. Push yourself. Woo! Jumping jacks and drills. Something you can't maybe necessarily do on land. Don't you miss those days when you used to be a kid and you could do these things? The water gives you those possibilities. All right, two more here. Last one. All right, so make sure you take breaks if you need it. Drinking water in between, not a bad idea. Now what I do next is called a bus kicker or a hamstring curl. You're just taking your foot up behind. I know you can't see it very well. Foot up behind, foot up behind, foot behind, behind. Now, your feet are coming up, just like you're kicking yourself in the butt. Bring those feet up and kick, kick. You're alternating one side to the other. This is working the hamstrings and the quads. The lower legs there, the upper legs. The hamstrings are the back of the legs, quads are on the front. One thing that's great about water is you work both sides. So you get those muscle imbalances. You're getting the front and the back at the same time. Not many places and you can do that. Now if you want to, add little bicep curls with it. If you want to, you don't have to. Sometimes it's not hard enough to do one thing at a time, right? Okay, 
Bring those feet up nice and high. Switching one foot to the other. How oh, those bicep curls. Now, one thing to tell you. Now, if you have a fist, not a lot of resistance, take those hands as you do your butt kickers here and separate the fingers a little bit, just a little bit. That gives a little bit of a turbulence between those fingers. And as you do that, you're gonna see more resistance. So keep those butt kickers going, give those bicep curls with that little turbulence, you'll feel it. Just a few more. All right, how's that cardio? You feeling your heart rate? At this point, we're gonna move those feet even faster. I call these football kick, uh, football runs. So get those feet moving fast. Get those shoulders in the water. Jog, 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 jog. Fast, 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 fast feet. You can't see my feet. My feet are moving as fast as they can. Down, 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 down. Fast, 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 fast. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Fast, 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 four, three, two, one. Yay! You did it. Those are hard because you're getting down in the water, you're moving lots of water. And if there's multiple people in the pool, lots going on, lots of resistance. All right, so we've done our butt kickers in the back. We've done our jogs for cardio. We gotta do something in the front. So this one, you're gonna bring your legs nice and high, straight legs. I'm bringing my foot up high to accentuate the height. You're bringing that leg up and down, straight leg. My foot's coming all the way out of the water. You do not have to bring your foot all the way out of the water. If you do, you're gonna have to make sure you do it safely. Try not to arch the back. You're grabbing that water, pulling it down. Grab and pull. And again, my hand's coming out for illustration. Pull, pull. So, plus that, try not to get those hands out of the water, not the feet either. Moving that water. Kicking forward. If you have a low back concern, don't go so high. And you can take these to your own speed. Don't have to be fast. Just a few more. Then we'll get some more toning going now. We've been toning a little bit, whether you know it or not. Because we're working and sculpting those muscles as we burn that fat. All right, take a break from it. Do you have a noodle nearby? If you don't, don't worry, you can do this without a noodle. If you do, grab your noodle. Here's mine. Now my noodle is getting old, but it's still useful. And this is what I call a rainbow noodle. You're gonna take your noodle, like a rainbow. You're bringing it down into the water, holding on to it. This is a thick one. This is a lot harder. You're bringing it down into the water, and we're gonna ski. A cross country ski is opposite foot, opposite hand forward. And as you switch, just like you're skiing, and you got the extra resistance. My hands are out of the water for demonstration here. But then, bring it down lower and move. Cardio and toning. The lower you go, the more you're gonna work. Try to keep those shoulders in the water. Keep alternating foot forward and back, each side, with the arm, opposition, arm forward and back. Now, if you don't like the noodle, the noodle does not have to be used here. It's still the same basic thing. You're just scooping forward and back with the hands. Scooping forward and back. Grabbing the water, skiing. See how that noodle made it a little bit more intense? You can stay with the noodle. All right, two more seconds. Take a break. Get some water. Shake out those wrists if you've been using those noodles. Little circles. Open and close those hands. Moving along. Grab that noodle again. Don't have to, but we're going to bring up the cardio a little bit again. This is what I call a piston jog. Two hands on the noodle in the center. As you jog, one hand goes down, then the other. Down and down. Jog and push. Jog and push. And you get it down lower. And you can push it down low if you want to, too. Jogging piston push. So one goes down, one goes up. Reciprocal. I call it a piston. And 
jogging in this gets you moving, toning at the same time. Using those arms. Okay, let's finish that up there. Take a break. Put your noodle off to the side. We're gonna do something else for a few minutes. Back to the center. Okay. We've done our skiing, we've done our pistons. What about a little strength? Now you can do strength without using anything. I'll show you tools in another show, but today we're gonna show you just some strength. Let's figure out on the sides of your body. Those are your obliques on the sides. Take your hands out to the side, plant your feet wide. You're gonna push out to one side and push to the other side. Just leaning sideways into it and sideways into it. Push and push. Now get down deep into the water. I'm up a little bit higher than I would like to be, it's just so you can see my motion. It's a flexion side to side, pushing the water. This is working your obliques. Push and push and push. Good. Are you keeping those heels down best you can? It's hard when that water is deep. Pushing and pushing. Take a break. Now, let's go to some more strength. This time we're gonna work the chest and the back muscles. These are called chest flies, and you've done them traditionally in the gym, I'm sure. But in the water, they're a little different because the fly, no, it, you open and close. So you have your hands forward, and what you're gonna do in a staggered stance, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna pull the water, and then you close it. You pull the water back, then you close. Pull back and close. Pull back and close. You're just doing this to work that chest muscle and the back muscle. Keeping those fingers separated again, a whole nother reason you want to get that extra intensity, like I mentioned before, opening and closing. You're going to feel your chest here and your back muscles. Woo, breathe through it. Make sure you're losing your, your breath. Deep breaths, breathing. You want to not hold that breath at any time. You feeling that? That's that your stance help keep you in your place. Let's take a pause. Switch those feet. It's good to switch too. So we have another set coming. Ready? So pull it back, push it close. Pull it back, push it close. Pull back, close. And open and close. Can you do four more? Four. And three. Two. And last one. Woo! Very nice. That one gave it you know, your all. I saw it. All right. Now, one more thing for the legs that I really like. We did those legs where we came straight up in the front of the body with the leg out to the front with the push down. This time, I want you to bring those legs up, not just straight, but you're gonna bring them out into a V shape. So it's gonna be more like this. So you're gonna bring one leg up out this side, one leg up on this side. So you'll end up being a V, doing half at a time. And as you do, we're gonna push down in the center using our triceps and upper body. So you're gonna push down. My foot's coming up again for illustration here. Nice and high. You don't wanna get your foot as high as I'm doing here. I mean, semi-deep water, so this is not ideal. You want to keep it nice and at your level. Pushing down. These are what I call Frankenstein kicks because they're up, they're V's, and they're wide. Frankenstein has those nice long legs. You know how he walks? Well, get those legs up. Makes me think of him. Pushing it down. Two things at once, getting those hamstrings, getting the glutes, getting the upper body too with that push down. And again, this one, you can add any kind of equipment to it too, the noodle, you can use a buoy, you can use the web gloves, or pretty much anything of all, anything to push down in the center. Get those feet up nice and high. Try not to arch the back at all. Stand nice and tall, shoulders are back. Two more on each leg. Last one. Good job. 
All right. This is a great one for your arms. Now this one, you have to have those shoulders in the water all the way. Because this is what it looks like outside the water. You're going to take fingers separated, separated and you're going to take your arms either one at a time or both. So both will look like this open and close. Open and close or open and close, open and close. In the water, it's open and close, open and close. Now you're working front and back of the arms here. Now if I get deep, you won't hear any noise. So I'm down nice and deep. And I'm, you can't see the water barely moving except for the little ripple on top. If you're high, you're gonna make a lot of splash. So get down a little lower. And again, you can do that in a nice staggered stance, staggered stance. It really helps you to stay there or even have his feet nice and wide. Touching the chest and opening. Another great exercise that can be done with equipment. Bring it in and out, elbows out to the side. Woo, you getting tired? Maybe time to alternate one and then the other. Maybe get both sides to go one, then the other. And maybe you have an injury to one arm. You can always one in and out on that same side. That's acceptable too. Just because you have an injury doesn't mean you can't exercise. You can do one side of the body and that's perfectly fine. And then when the other side feels strong enough or doctor clears you, you go back to it. All right, I think our arms have to get a little break. Now, let's go to our legs. Our legs, side leg lifts. Hard to see. I'm standing up here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my one leg and bring it out to the side, and then bring it back in. And my hands are on my hips. I anchor my left leg, and my right leg is going to come out to the side. So I'm bringing it out, and then bringing it back in. Very difficult to do when you're in the middle of the pool. You may need to move to the side of the pool and hold on to it, bring the foot up, and then bring it back down, up, and then back down. So all the way out as far as you can, and then back down. If you have pain in that hip, then don't go so big on that side. We have four more on this side. And here's three. Two more. Last one on that side. Let's go to this side over here. Ready? So bring the foot out to the side, bring it in. Side leg lifts, out and in. Out to the side and in, just like my hand is. Now, this is another exercise you can do at your own tempo. You can go as fast or slow as you want on this one. If you go a little bit faster, you're gonna work against that resistance on the way in and out because you have that drag of the water. So you're gonna go against yourself so you can actually feel it a little bit more and it might actually move you like it's moving me. All right, let's do about two more on this side so we kind of get leveled out there. All right. Okay, next, something, another fun thing for the core, side crunches. These are things that are hard to balance, but in the water, a lot easier for people to balance issues. You're gonna take one arm out to the side. You're bringing up the other knee and you're gonna bring the knee, like I said, an exaggeration, knee to elbow. Hold on to your hip on the other side, knee to elbow. Put the foot down, knee to elbow, and down. Crunches to the side. And you wanna breathe. Don't hold the breath. It's one of my major rules, never hold your breath. Crunch to the side, and crunch, and crunch. Now, maybe you're getting that knee a lot higher than you can on land. Maybe getting your hip a little bit more open than normal. That's the real beauty of the pool, like I said before. Let's do four more on this side, because we really want to get the core today. And three, and two, last one. Now you can always bring it up if you want to bring your cardio up, go back into that jog in between and then go to the other side. We're going to go right to the other side today, but that's always an option if you're doing your own exercises at home. So anchor into this side over here, this side moves, and down, knee to elbow, bring that knee up, elbow down, and maybe those knee and elbows don't meet, maybe they don't even come close. You know, the more you do things like this, the better you're going to get at it, the more you're going to find you have that flexibility and range of motion as it gets there. Lifting that knee to elbow. Progress can be slow sometimes, but it's progress. Breathe. Breathe. 
Can you give me four more over there? Here's four. And three. Two. Last one. Woo, that sides are a little warmed up. Boy. They feel great though. All right. We got one more song to go. Disco Inferno. What does that make me think of? Haha, <laughs> disco dancing, you got it. Let's go. Disco arms while we run here in the water. So your hands are going to be in the water doing this. Mine are going to get there eventually. So you keep those fingers either all the way cupped for less resistance or just semi-open for a little bit more resistance. And you're going like this, grabbing that water and getting it down. Shoulders in the water, jog. And roll those arms forward. Some people call this a speed bag. I call this a disco. Disco. Especially Disco Inferno song. How's that feeling? You feeling the upper body, the shoulders? You feeling that ab work? Arms working, legs are working, cardio is up. Moving lots of water. That's what you want. You got all the extra resistance when that water moves. Keep on moving. Take a pause. Now give me some hops off the bottom. So full foot to the floor, hop up. Both feet are hopping up to touch the floor. Up, heels down, up. Touch the floor. Up and touch. Up, touch. Woo, can you get high on this one? Nice and high. Pick this up. I can get pretty high if I want to. Woo! It's great to be able to jump like a kid again. Give me a couple more. How about just last two? All right, now disco. Take them to reverse. We went this way, now go this way. Bring those hands, jog it, and go this way. Bring them towards you. Open those fingers a little teeny bit, just a little bit. Give me those fingers. Jog it out. today. You feeling pretty good about everything? Hopefully you're getting a great workout and learning a couple new things today. Any of these exercises can be done in any order. Like I said, you just want to make sure you get that warm up in first. It's really important. All right, take a pause. Bring your hands out to the side. Keep those feet together. A little hop side and side. Keep the feet together. A little side and side. Hop. We're using that core again. Hop side to side. These are ski mogul hops side to side. Very nice. Let's get back to our jog. Jog and punch. Just like in the beginning. Jog and punch. Now a bunch of the exercises I showed you today you can do with equipment and there's so many ways to change them up. You can add equipment, take away equipment, add equipment only on one side of the body. There's so much to be done and there's so much I'd like to show you. So after we're done with our stretching at the end, maybe you come back and join me again another day. Keep moving though, the song's not done. Let's get all that movement in. The side jogs with the punch down and bring it down slower down a little bit. Slow it down. Slow, 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 slow. Take it into just a jog, no punches. Slower jog. We're going into flexibility. Now, flexibility, you have to stretch a little bit at the end. Very important. Muscles are warm still, so keep your body moving here. And then we're gonna just go ahead and keep the feet moving slowly. As we do a tricep stretch, hand touches the back, pressing a little gently on the inside of the arm here. Walk the feet still, walk, walk. Get those heels down when you walk. So let's take the arm, bring it across the body, keep the shoulder down, and then a little pressure on the arm for the stretch of the shoulder. Walking your feet still.
Let's switch sides. Arm up and over. Touch the back. Arm across the chest. Tuck it into your body. Shoulders down. Let's go to the lower body. Take and pick up one leg off the floor. And then take your foot and circle it around. Circle those foot ankles around. Nice big circles. Over here, you're stretching the glutes with the knee up, but you're also circling those ankles, so we're getting a nice range of motion exercise, too. Take it in reverse. Point and flex those feet. Point and flex them over here. Good. Now take that leg, extend it all the way out in front of you. You may need that wall. Sometimes you get a little off balance. You can just scuttle that water a little bit. That foot's all the way in front, best you can. You get a long leg. Let's switch sides. Bring the other knee up. Hold it up and circle the foot. Circle, circle. Take it in reverse. Circle the foot. And then point and flex. Point and flex. Beautiful. Take that leg, extend it all the way forward. You may need that wall again. Bring those toes in towards you. We're getting those hamstrings and calves as we stretch like this. Use that water a little bit to help you stay there. Take your foot back down. Leave your legs nice and wide. And you're just going to sway side to side, leaning into each of those legs. Pushing the water away so we get the oblique and the inner thigh stretched out side to side. Hands on hips, and we're just going to do a little torso rotation. Just turn to the side. Nice stretch, bring it back to center. And then the other side. And back to your center. At this point, keep one hand on the hip. The other one opens up. You're going to grab that water and you're going to turn in a 360 degree circle. All the way around. Stretching out those pectoral muscles in the chest. All the way around. And you get to center. Switch sides. This comes to the hip. This one goes forward. And you turn and walk and drag that water with you to stretch the chest. There you go, all the way around back to front, are you? If you aren't, get there. And once you do, we have just one more thing to do. Let's stretch the neck here. Take the neck and just nod your ear to your shoulder on one side. Now, I don't know if you were looking up at your TV, down at your TV, or how you were looking at me on the computer screen. It's not good to have your neck in upright, looking up in an air position. So if you ever are at your full, try to have a level area. Head to the other side level so you're looking straight at it looking up all the time is not going to be good for your neck so you want to make sure you stretch your neck really good so bring it to center and then nod your head so your neck comes down to your chin to your sh your chest okay i think we got most of everything stretched for right now i hope you guys come back and join me another day but before then let's go ahead and air Breathe in, some nice air in. Exhale, some air out. Once again, my name is Stacy. I'm with Fit with Stacy, and I love working with seniors. And I love helping people get into great shape. That's what I'm all about. So maybe come back and join me. Next time, I'm gonna throw in a couple more cardio moves, add some extra additions to some of those jumping jacks and jills, maybe some new moves to them, and add a couple more of those noodle or even some buoy moves to it. So be prepared for those, and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks so much for being here with me. You're a great job.